Our film is set in a post-apocalyptic San Francisco. Ten years have passed since most of the human race was wiped out in a viral pandemic, and nature has begun to reclaim the city. The remaining humans have improvised a home at the base of an unfinished skyscraper, struggling together to rebuild civilization as their resources begin to run out. We created the environment through a combination of completely computer-generated elements and photography, shot in both New Orleans and San Francisco, that we then heavily modified to fit our story. Only a handful of shots were actually photographed in San Francisco. In those cases, we used the photography as a jumping off point, but extensively rebuilt the environment by projecting degradation and greenery onto reconstructed geometry, and then added 3D vines, plants, trees, and damaged vehicles to provide high quality interaction between the apes and the environment. Most of the city photography, however, was actually shot in New Orleans. Tying into LiDAR data and photo reconstructed geometry from the set, we replaced the upper stories of the New Orleans buildings with degraded extensions covered in CG vegetation. Beyond the first block, we replaced flat New Orleans with a hilly, fully digital San Francisco. The same New Orleans set served as the front quarter of the human colony. We extended the set digitally to fill out the back three quarters of the colony, and we also extended the set upward into the abandoned tower construction above. The streets and much of the surrounding buildings were based on the existing real-world location at One Market Street in San Francisco. The modern tower addition referenced similar real-world skyscrapers that were halted mid-construction. We designed and dressed the tower with attention to all of the skeletal structures, formwork, machinery, and debris that you find in modern glass and steel tower construction sites. Much of the environment in the apes' attack on the human colony was completely digital. We built major sections of San Francisco's Market and California streets from over a mile of LiDAR and photogrammetry coverage. We then extended this LiDAR data with CAD and satellite data to achieve our aerial shots of the same environment.